Hey everyone, welcome back to Rayman 2. This is a weird one, right? You didn't really expect me to continue this game. I don't know why I left it for so long to continue. I guess I was... I don't know... Distracted? Not exactly the word. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I guess I was just doing other things, you know. It happens. Anyways, what we're gonna do in this episode is two things. First thing, well, two things definitely. Um, I'm like really looking to finish this game. Uh, fuck, it's been a long time. It's probably not the best stage to start off with because this shit ain't easy. Uh, two things we're definitely gonna do. Thing number one is I will collect or try to collect the final lum in this area. I'm missing a fiver, a fiver lum, so yeah, that's one thing. The other thing, I'm definitely gonna get the secret lum in, uh, seriously? Fuck, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Like, looking at my HP, I took a lot of damage in the Tomb of the Ancients. Anyways, uh, thank fuck for that. I'm gonna get the secret lum. That was gonna be my other uh, little monologue piece. The secret lum is actually in a different place that I remembered. The reason I missed it. The problem is that the area the secret lum is in looks very similar to another area in the Tomb of the Ancients, so I think I got that shit mixed up. Uh, but that's about it. Okay, I really gotta like actually pay attention because the problem is I watched a video of a dude beating this level to 100% completion. The issue is because it's been so long that I played, I don't exactly remember which one of the lums I had and which one of them I didn't. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in like this general area, this second stage of the level. Oh shit. I'm gonna be like real quick with this. All right. I'm hoping to not... I didn't know that was a... Fuck. I didn't know the roof was spiky. So anyways, yeah, I left this game for a long time. I don't know why, but... Major announcement, probably all of you already know, is that I'm back on the streaming grind. I didn't stream today because, you know, I alternate between Monday, Wednesdays and... Sorry that I'm so, like, staccato with the way I talk. I'm, like, genuinely watching out for the slum. That, like, I do alternating days. Oh, did I miss that? I did. So, this week it's Tuesday, Thursday. That's on schedule. You know, in the end it's good. I thought about streaming today. Because uh, I had time. But it's good that I didn't because we actually had a power outage. Just before I started this episode. A pretty big one too. We had a big storm. So... That would have been embarrassing. Stream, bam, power cut. You shit bitch. Okay, where is this piece of shit? But this is not good, because this is the... God damn, where the fuck is it? Okay, well this is not good. I didn't get a single new lum. Okay, I gotta, like, look this shit up. Um, whatever. I'm an idiot. It's secret lum time. This should be much easier. Anyways, I r reckon... Strange word to use, I know. I reckon there's 
two episodes left for this series, like this and one more. I don't think it's gonna take much more to beat this game. I'm like very low on HP, this is... No bueno. It is no bueno. Right, fuck off spider. So what we gotta do is we gotta... We gotta activate these because that's where the secret is. Okay. Am I about to die in this kid's game? There is... There is actually a pretty solid chance that I will. Listen. This is Rayman 2, no hit run, speed run, any percent. Oh, come on, don't for. It's my dog. Okay, I'm not blaming her now, there's a storm going on outside. Uh, she does not like storms. Um, so she might, might be barking. I'm like genuinely about to die. Shit, this is embarrassing. I need to figure out where we have more of those uh, red lum, you know, sequences. Those are like supposed to heal you. I remember where I lost time my HP when I was trying to go for the secret lum and I was mistaken on where it is. Yeah, and I kept jumping into the fucking puddle. The poison water or whatever. Yeah. Don't worry. This is far from over. Especially since we probably... like The reason I'm worried is we probably have the most difficult stage coming up. Outside of the last... Oh shit, that thing. I didn't know that damages you. The Iron Mountains. It's not an easy stage. Shit, did I check a timer? Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll go until... I'm done with the things I said I would be done with. You can see it from here. I'm so stupid. Like, it's right there. You can see the little crack. So anyways, this is this game's big secret. When I discovered this, it shit blew my mind. Yeah, this is what you do. Make sure to activate your helicopter. Did I miss... I kind of missed it. Shit! I thought it was farther out than it actually is. Don't worry. Should only... That was legit unbelievable. Man, this... This secret better give you a full heal or something. Because if not... Your boy is gonna be in trouble. Anyways... Get in! Get- are you f- Fuck. <sighs> this is a 90s game. Physics are not its strongest suit, I will admit that. Although, whose fault was that really? Technically mine. If I die to this shit, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, fly further out. Thank you. This is all I wanted. So basically what you have here is a pirate battle. With very little HP. Okay, this might actually heal me. Like the cumulative, cumulative effects of this might actually heal me. So anyways, this is the gimmick. Uh, the two, sp 
two pirates spawn. Uh, you kill them and you get to move forward. These guys are a lot less dangerous from a distance. Guys, just how their shots work. They hit me far more when they're closer. Anyways. Hey, tiny spiders, look at that. Can I... Do these just spawn forever? Oh, I wish that would have been good. And here we have... A secret lum. Underwhelming, I know. Keep knocking into my mic like an idiot. I apologize. Yeah. There's no big, like, fanfare or anything. It's just a secret lum. Because you probably noticed that the game said there are 999 lums. But there's actually a thousand. Uh, and Razorbeard eats it. Eats the thousandth. Thousandth. Lum. Fuck, I can't even talk. Uh, at the start. I don't know, I guess he like shits it out or something. And this is his toilet. A cistern. Oh, come on, red lump. I did get a full heal. This is the best thing ever. Listen. I take back all my criticisms I might have had for this thousandth, thousandth lump. This is the greatest shit ever. So I don't know, I guess it like shits it out or something and this is where it lands. Uh, because yeah, secret lum. It doesn't do anything besides contribute to the 100% completion of the game. Which I'm pretty sure I'm not able to get anyways because you need to beat those stupid bonus stages. Which, as demonstrated, I am unable to do. So, you know, never mind. Okay, so now I have this free gift for heal. I'm gonna try that. What the shit? They land by fucking... Okay, I never, I legit never noticed that. Did they parachute in? Oh, come on. Dick move by me, I know. Anyways, we literally just gotta get to the end, and I realized I took the long way around. It doesn't matter. This will happen quickly enough. I think. So anyways, how's everyone been? I legit don't know what I'm going to play after I'm done with this game. Uh, I have a couple of ideas. People pointed out to me, specifically one of my longtime viewers, Fry, uh, he pointed out that Quake RTX was free on Steam. Or was it Steam? Yeah, it was on Steam. And I did get it. Quake 2 specifically, I mean. And I fuck Man, no wonder I lost all my HP on this level. Wait, can can you actually just quit out? Does it get my thing though? I don't think it did. Shit. I don't think it did. Well, whatever. I thought you can just abandon the level. Whatever. You you saw what I did. I'll get it. I'll get it later. Let's move on to the Iron Mountains. Because uh, I actually like this stage. This is a long ass stage too. I just realized. Fuck, I'm stupid. I thought you can quit the level, but no, you cannot. So yeah, final mask. But no, like this is like jokes aside, this is a genuinely good stage. So, anyways, Quake RTX, Quake 2 RTX was one suggestion. I don't know if people are actually interested in that. Um, 
whenever I do these like smaller games or like old games or indie games or whatever my viewership is never as good as with actual souls which I understand you know souls is the main thing I do hold up oh yeah yeah cuz I did quit out didn't I I remember I was like, why do I have less HP? But then I realized that I, because I was an idiot. Anyways, you get the deal with this. Alright. I think... I think that's it. Okay, cool. First section done. So again, talk about atmosphere. This game, this level has it all. I think this is one of the most atmospheric levels in the game. It has like everything. It's kind of what I love about it. Except for this part. This is one of the most irritating parts in the entire game. Where you gotta hit these two switches to deactivate. Oh, hey! That was probably the easiest section, like that section, that I've ever had. Because normally because it spins around so fucking fast, it's like a fucking centrifuge. Uh, it's very difficult to hit. But that went swimmingly. Um, what else? I wanted to say some... Oh, I know what I was going to say. Funny thing. Okay, fuck off, pirate. Oh yeah, he's gonna teleport. Funny thing is, what I was gonna say, that section, that thousand, thousand Lum section, is actually bugged in the Nintendo DS version of the game. It's kind of crazy. Uh, you go to it, or you try to do it, and the game just like, straight up... Oh, there's two pirates, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, the game just like straight up glitches out. You are unable to pass. So you can like, get the LUM, but the game completely freezes after. And you just cannot pass. It actually forces a restart, if I remember correctly. Uh, really strange, you know, because... Like... How would they, or why would they not notice that? Like... They made the game, clearly they know that section is there, and they just kind of forgot about it. Weird. I mean, to be honest, I don't blame them. I've mentioned this at the start, that this game has like a thousand different versions. Each of them being just like slightly... Slightly altered. Uh, obviously, the console, the initial console versions were like limited by graphical quality. So this PC version is based on the PS1 version. But the Dreamcast version had like a different overworld. I mean, same, same set of levels and everything, just a different look to the overworld. Whereas the Nintendo 64 version, because it's a weaker console graphically, it... Um, had like a lower poly overworld. I think it was missing something else as well. Cut, maybe cutscenes? It could have been cutscenes. Oh yeah, this section, like listen to the music. I absolutely love the music here. And again, this this is this was always one of my favorite levels as a kid. Uh cause, probably because it's so varied, you know. Like you come down this like a waterfall, the music is awesome, and then you ride the hot air balloon. It's kind of sick. So yeah, again, and then they had the PC version, which is... I think this is just the PS1 version with upgraded graphics. And then PS2, the game was like completely remade. It's called Rayman 2 Revolution. And what do we got here? We got Robot Chicken Boys. Not Robot Chicken, like the show, 
but an actual robot chicken that makes fart noises as well or is it a turkey could be either anyways um unfortunately I think Rayman Revolution is stupid I don't like that version of the game it, ha it has like an open world for some reason because open world was the thing back then it's still the thing now but you know you know what I mean and like this level is different and that's when Rayman 2 Revolution lost me when they changed this level it's hella pissed about that like how dare you switch or change the best level in the game and they switch or change the best part of the best level uh, it's bonk as hell like why we're gonna get to that part anyways okay I think we're done here right and I got all the cages and here comes the crazy part walking shell Ah oh, shit so yeah we're going on the roof and if I remember correctly there's actually a ton of lums here you just kinda gotta you kinda gotta manipulate the physics and get on top without killing yourself and that is not an easy task and this game with the walking shell alright I think I did it yep told you oh fuck you goddamn walking shells and the really weird thing is the bigger lums have like less draw distance on them anyways What the? Okay. Okay. Listen, what did I say at the start? Physics are not 90s games strong suit. Alright, here we go, boys. I swear I saw. Yup, there's one right there. Just gonna have a look around. Yup. I'm gonna check all corners now. And you can use this thing to boost as well, which is absolutely... You gotta be a maniac to do that. Alright, 35. I don't know if that's... God damn it. What the... I, I like went... I straight up went out of bounds. Cool. Anyways, let's do the normal part. Uh, if I miss any lums, I can always come back. I don't remember this game, this level being that difficult to 100%. All right, what do we got here? I'll show you what we got. We got baby glow boxes, who are for some reason being shot by lasers. Um. Kind of strange. This is the only laser based weapon in the entire game, and we release them and come face to face with the chicken. Okay, so here's what you do so the chicken will start chasing, and you gotta get it to not step on you. That's one of the key things, but you gotta get it to knock over all those plants or cacti or whatever. and they all have lums under them I think you can get, get shot by the laser too which is a really weird thing to say in this game oh and you gotta boost like hell cause he catches up quickly but you know, this is like not a... You expect a couple of deaths here. Uh, they're bound to happen. 
I'm really hoping I didn't miss any lums in this section. If I'm gonna miss any, it's gonna be there because the start of this level, there's not many places you can hide things. Please tell me that counted. Yes, it did. It did count. I, I'm really hoping. And I can just pick up the two lums and get the hell out of here. We get to the awesome section of this level. Yeah. We haven't even been to the awesome section of this level. Alright. Get our boost on. Cool. I think we're good to go. Shit, yeah, you gotta jump. I activated the cutscene too. I forgot you can jump with these things. That might have made this section easier if I did jump. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah, you can jump. Alright, I got you, game. I got you. Yeah, and you just kill your buddy, your little walking shell buddy. What an asshole. Alright. The amount of lums to where we are currently at ratio. What the fuck was that? I am not exactly comfortable with that. Oh shit, there's like, it's the oil. Or something. I know what you gotta do. Let's not get killed. Anyways, what you gotta do is... Get on top of this. You know the deal. Like, we've done this before. Hmm. If I actually jumped, that would be extremely helpful. Oh, this is... what? what is going on with this thing? Just lets you go immediately. Strange. Pretty sure this is the only one that behaves like this. Grab it. Thank fuck for that. No, no, okay. You know what we gotta do, like... It's kind of self-explanatory, but no. <sighs> okay. There we go. And then... Throw it up. Let it land. Don't even think about. Seriously? No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. This is like. Ornstein and Smo ain't got shit on this. Okay, can I please finally get this fucking lum? Stop grabbing it. Thank you. Man, they make you go through some hoops to get this slum. There it is. Excelente. Okay, that's all I wanted. That's all I needed. We can go on to the awesome section. Alright. Pretend you didn't see any of those deaths which happened. Or definitely didn't happen. Anyways. We have the glow box set. Or whatever she's called. Okay. Okay. 
Yep. Of course they did. He can't stay uncaptured for long. Look at Rayman's face. Yup. You know what's gonna be happening. Uglet, that's the one. Yeah, you know what's gonna be happening. This, I loved, like, this shit blew my mind as a kid. We get to fly the pirate ship. This is sick. Anyways. The controls and the physics on it are, again, you know, let's not mention it, but... Just like the concept of this is awesome. You don't have the range of weapons that the pirates have. Like, you cannot... You cannot, like, throw bombs and shit. But... You do have the gun. Anyways, in terms of navigating, uh, there's four mines. Each of them in a different direction. Just gotta be careful of not getting hit. Because you don't actually have that much HP. I thought you had more HP. Shit. Anyways, again, like this is kind of a gimmick section. But just the concept of... This, I think, is awesome. Like, they really they thought of this. And they were like... We designed these awesome pirate ships. And it really is an awesome design, I think. Uh... Hell yeah, we're gonna let them pirate it. Uh, pirate it? Pilot it. Anyways, one more to go. It's definitely a thing that's gonna... Yep. Eat shit. Gonna blast the hell out of them. So the most difficult thing is going to be making it back. Uh, we're going to go... Shit, which way? We're that way. A sharp turn, yep. And that way. Usually if you go where there are enemies, they're going to be fairly safe. Uh, yeah. And we're good to go. We got them all. Got the tiny glow boxes. Or glow by. And they give you this U-turn space. Make a three-point turn. Like your driving exam. Which I had to do twice in my life. Which I think I talked about, didn't I? It's a shame this section is so short, because this is a badass idea. But anyways, it was fun while it lasted. Hopefully I'm going the right way, yeah I am, definitely am. Okay, just watch. Watch your clearance. Your height clearance. That's pretty cute though. How he's riding on the... Is that a mast? That's not a mast. I don't know. Ship parts? I don't even know them in any language. Those things are pretty cute, though. Except when you gotta do the fucking bonus stage with them, then they can get fucked. Man, they are productive, you know. Well, she can pilot the boat, too. It's like anybody can. Yeah, and one of them just ate the mask. And you can just get it. Now, this is the thing. 
This is the difference between the PS2 version and this is why I think the PS2 version can go get fucked. This entire section is cut out. It's not in the game. And instead you get a boss fight with another one of those triangle idiots. And... Which would you rather have? Piloting a badass pi oh, Fucking, I look at his eyes. Stoner. This is ominous, like, you know. Of course. Gotta have some reason to do the final fight. Now, they never do explain what that means, because... He don't do shit as far as I know. He just gives you a lot of HP. That and the last mask is the most normal looking one. That and the second one. The other two are... yeah. No wonder this, scared, this guy scared me as a kid. Like what the hell. And these French people are crazy. So yeah, with that we've officially reached the final level of Rayman 2. I'm gonna really try and find the last lum on the flying stage. Cause it's kinda bothering me. That dude has a Gucci belt as well, for sure. Um. Other than that, I'll get the thousand lum. But you know how to get, you know how to get that now. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. <laughs> the prison ship, 94 lums. Yeah, seriously, there's 94 lums in this one because essentially it's two stages in one. So we got plenty, but we still have some work to do before that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Rayman 2. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And see you soon in the final episode. Peace out.